Our 27th project at P23 was 13 rooms. It was a major undertaking for us. And I was really concerned at the beginning whether we could manage it. We were used to presenting single artists or artist duos that worked together. And in this case, there were 13 artists who work we presented, or more accurately, represented, with one exception. P23 at that time was the original untouched early 19th century pier, and it was a beautiful open space, ideally suited for the presentation of 13 rooms. The original concept for the rooms came from Hans Ulrich Obrist, the artistic director of the Serpentine, and Klaus Biesenbach, who at that time was director of MoMA PS1 in New York. They have collaborated many times on projects before. And this was originally a commission for the Manchester International Festival in 2011. And they presented it as 11 rooms. The idea was that each year an additional room was added. So in 2012, it was the Ruhr International Triennale, and we were fortunate enough to be able to secure it for 2013 as 13 rooms. There was quite a few other international venues that wanted to take it, but I was fortunate that I was friendly with both Hans Ulrich and Klaus Biesenbach, and we managed to secure it. The idea behind the Rooms project was new. It was the representation of projects done by artists in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and we had to train over 100 performers to do the various works. We had to train nude performers for Marina Ambrevovich to John Jonas, performers who, of course, were not able to perform the endurances Marina did, as she stayed in the same position for a day. Our performers alternated every few hours. Interestingly, the most difficult performers to find were returned ex-servicemen from Vietnam or Afghanistan for Santiago's Sierra's very moving piece, as most of them contacted were reluctant to be involved. There was a huge variety. For example, Damien Hurst used identical twins. To my surprise, there was a whole supply of identical twins, both men and women, who were happy to perform. We were very fortunate that we had Greg Holman from Seidler Architects design the layout of the rooms, and Marco Rossi, the managing director of BUILD, helped us to build the whole temporary wooden structure, whatever was required. So we turned an empty space into a venue to show the room. We were also fortunate that an Australian Pollyanna Clayton Stamp worked for several years at the Manchester Festival, and she worked on the original 11 rooms. But she decided to come back to Australia and became an enormous help. She was the Australian curator for 13 rooms. She helped recruit the artist, train the artist, and was the backbone of our team to produce this work. The only exception to re-performance was an Australian young artistic duo, Clark Beaumont, who created an outstanding work on a plinth meant for one person. They perched on it for hours and an end and twined in different positions. It worked really well and stood up to all the 
famous international artists' presentations. It was a wonderful opportunity to them, and they were acclaimed by the audience and the press. The word of mouth spread very quickly, and we had a great reaction from the public, not only from the usual arty people who come to our projects, but from a whole cross-section of society. There were long queues forming outside P23. In 11 days, we had over 30,000 visitors, and we could have had many more, but we were limited because of health and safety of how many people could enter P23. The maximum, I think, was 600 people at any one time. We had a very complex education and public program work, which was led by Sue Saxon. Due to the success of 13 Rooms, it continued during the Basel Art Fair in 2014 as 14 Rooms, and they used Herzog de Mura, the famous Swiss architects, to arrange the rooms. Very different from ours, they used lots of mirrors. 2015 was in Shanghai, and there was talk of doing it in 2016, but at this point, 15 was the last. I think the best way to sum up this project was in the words of Hans Ulrich Obris. He said, it's a sculpture exhibition where the sculptures go home at night.